I'm Joshua Bardwell and you're going to learn something today. Time for another video about the DJI Digital FPV system. And in this video, we're answering a question that many of you guys have asked. How does the system perform on 700 milliwatts output power versus how it performs on 25 milliwatts output power? And that's a really important question because you guys live in over in the European Union and other CE areas. You guys can only legally at least use 25 milliwatts output power. And there's a big freaking difference between 700 and 25. So this is me flying at 700 milliwatts output power. I'm gonna start you off with just a little bit of fun freestyle. This is not the side-by-side -side test, but I want you to kind of get a sense of the environment and heck, I'll just show you a little freestyle on this system. And then after this flight finishes, I'm gonna do two of the same flights, one on 700 milliwatts, one on 25 milliwatts, a little bit more boring, not a lot of you know flippy floppies, but just the same path through the environment, 725, and you can see how much the signal holds together versus breaking up. Mm. Tech FPV, Whistle. gonna fly the DJI for the first time. I'm excited. Okay, you have to put them, you do have to put, put them, them on. on me, man? Dang. You gotta put them on. I thought it was like a thing. Like you put them they on. don't put themselves on your face. Go, no, no, what? All right. Holy crap, really? You can you adjust serious? it. This is cool. Like, this right. is the video I'm going to be seeing while I fly this thing? Are right. you serious? Um, you got to... Are you serious right now? This is cool. Probably it's fine. The image is, like, so freaking awesome, it kind of messes with me. <laughs> I can see way too much stuff. So what do you think? I need to start a Patreon. Uh, <laughs> tag needs a GoFundMe. GoFundMe, get tag DJI. Oh, That'd be awesome. Uh, here you go. All right. So, say, tell everybody who you are. Uh, Justin Barr, currently undecided. Oh, currently undecided. Yep, currently undecided. Don't have a pilot name. No, that's, that, that is my name. Spot. That is currently oh, undecided. Nice. <laughs> All right. Dude, and how the light shining through up top? It's uh, it looks pretty uh, realistic. There's almost too much to look at. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I'm seeing way too much. Like, you always think about how awesome it would be to fly a GoPro. And, uh, you know, but then when you really start flying, you get used to seeing a very small window and just focus on that. It almost really allows you to see smaller gaps better. Because <laughs> instead of just a little blurry uh, hole. Yeah. hole you're going for, you actually have the like the individual uh, parts of it. Nuts and bolts? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's grade eight hardware. <laughs> and that's another thing that's really cool. You can actually go in and see when you are right below the ground. Because yeah. you, you know how, I mean, I like to fly low and this allows you to like just truly see, oh, you're just like inches above the ground. That's... <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed that and now the moment you've been waiting for. Here I'm going to do a circuit around the area on 700 milliwatts and I'm going to go way further out than you saw me doing when I was flying that freestyle. Uh, and I'm just going to keep talking you through it because this is goggle DVR so there is no, uh, there's no audio so I don't want to just let you sit there in silence the whole time. Um, being very careful here not to fly uh, anywhere dangerous over anybody's head or anything but basically as far as I could get, the interstate is basically on the other side of these trees and I obviously didn't want to go there. Fly on the edge of the property, everything was fine. I can tell you that I didn't feel any stutter at all. There was almost no degradation of the signal except in this one area coming right over here and you can see the building I'm in uh, on the left there. Um, almost no stuttering, almost no signal degradation. Focus mode was, was focus mode on? It sure doesn't seem like focus mode was on. We'll be able to tell in 25 milliwatt mode because uh, in 25 milliwatt, there definitely is some signal, de signal degradation. So there was the circuit, made a loop all the way around. Then I do a little bit more flippy floppies, but here we're just inside the building and the signal is basically perfect inside the building. Can I take one second and point out to you how dramatic that is because this building I came here to do multi-path testing with the TBS Fusion and the SkyZone Sky030 and I came here specifically because it's a giant freaking metal building with lots of multi-path there's just no breakup in here hold on a second let me show you what this building looks like at 25 milliwatts on an analog receiver this is the OWL RC diversity module and what you're looking at here is not a DVR. It is literally a GoPro recording the screen of the Fatshark HDO goggle. This is exactly what you would see if you put your eye in the goggle and just look at how much breakup there is. In fact, if you see the 
OSD, the RSSI readout in the upper right hand corner stuttering in and out. I think that's because of the massive amount of multipath that this goggle is trying to deal with. Now, we have to acknowledge this was done for a different test, and this is at 25 milliwatts. This is not at 700 milliwatts. So this doesn't compare to the video you just saw, but it will actually compare fairly well to the 25 milliwatt video you're going to see in just a second. But what I want to call your attention to is, especially when we go inside the building here, look at all this stuttering. Even though the picture itself is relatively strong, we've got tons of multipath. We've got tons of multipath in this environment that is making this analog receiver struggle. And that certainly is one of the advantages of the digital receivers like the DJI. All right, here we are back on the DJI system, and you can see I'm making two, five, 25 milliwatts. And in just a second, I'm going to take off. But first, Tommy is going to try to kill me by putting his props on incorrectly. Three, two, one. Ah! Well, thanks, Tommy. Good job there, buddy. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's get this guy turned around and in the air. And OMG, if rewind the video back to that analog and then come to this. And OM, oh, oh, uh, so refreshing to see the difference. Okay, let's go. 25 milliwatts. Let's get in the air and see how she does. Any minute now. There we go. Okay, so... um. I'm going to take off and I'm going to attempt to fly the exact same path. And immediately you should see a small degradation in quality even here, but it's still pretty good. I haven't felt any breakup or any, you know, stuttering or anything like that. But as we come through here, I d right here is where I feel a stutter. And I immediately, I don't want to push it, right? I'm not going to take any chances. And it, right even here at this distance, you can definitely see a significant reduction in signal quality. It doesn't actually look like I have focus mode on, I thought I might have, I must have had it turned off because you can see that the whole screen is degrading equally. Um, here, I'm able to go back to this tree line, which I was able to fly on 700 milliwatts, but there's a definite reduction in image quality. Not really noticing any stuttering, but like the wire that just came overhead, I saw that very clearly on 700 milliwatts. Now here, I had to, I had to punch out because I just didn't feel like I could see enough detail to avoid hitting that tree. That happened on 25 milliwatts. It didn't happen on 700. And as we come back in here, everything is basically fine again. I'm going to do a little more flying inside the building. You saw me flying inside the building on 700 milliwatts. What I want to show you guys is that even at 25 milliwatts, when you're at a closer range like this, things are pretty freaking good, but there's definitely a significant reduction in range when you get out a little further away. Significant reduction. You, you know what I mean. In conclusion, then, I hope this video has helped you understand the kind of performance you can expect to get if you have to fly the DJI system at 25 milliwatts versus 700 milliwatts. Speaking for myself, I would take the DJI system over a 25 milliwatt analog system, no question. But if you're flying analog at 700 milliwatts uh, versus DJI at 25, I think the reduction in range might be enough to offset the increase in picture quality. I also want to point out that there are companies like um, Video Aerial Systems, IB Crazy's company, and GetFPV has a Luminear antenna upgrade for this that some people have said increases the range. And that would especially be relevant if you're flying on 25 milliwatts where you just might need everything you can get. There's links to all of these products down in the video description and they are affiliate links. I do get a small commission if you use them. That's one of the ways that you can help say thank you uh, for the work that I do in these videos. Um, you can also join my Patreon if you want to throw me a couple bucks a month. That's going to do it for this. I got to get out of here before I turn off the DVR. That's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying. I didn't make it because you can turn the DVR off from the goggles. I didn't have to reach down and touch the dang. Anyway, bye guys.